Hey guys, it's Mike here, and ever since the Moro arc of the Dragon Ball Super manga began, the character of Maris has been a mystery among readers. What exactly is he? Where does he come from? And how did he get so powerful? These unanswered questions have led to many fans speculating and coming up with their own theories. Some of them have even made their own videos on the subject. In fact, I'm doing it right now. It's like videoception. But it seems like Toyotaro may have finally put that to rest with the newest chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga, which appears to confirm a popular theory about the Galactic Patrolman. During the chapter, we see that Goku and Maris have taken a break from their training together in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. During this, Goku asks him why he hasn't eaten. Maris responds that he doesn't need to eat food, and can either choose to do so or not at all. Interestingly, Goku responds by saying that Whis told him the same thing. And as they got back to training, just who was watching them from his staff but Whis himself. However, the angel wasn't alone. As he went to Zeno's palace to speak with his father, Daishinkan, the Grand Priest. At first, Daishinkan asked Whis if he wanted him to save the universe. Of course, Whis said no, because it's a part of his role as an angel to be neutral and not intervene as such. However, this is when he changed the subject to how those rules specifically work for angels. This is also when it was revealed that the Grand Priest already knew about Maris, and it seems that these rules would be applied to him as well. So in a roundabout way, it seems that Toyotaro is finally confirming what many fans have been speculating about for months now, which is that Maris is in fact an angel. This would explain why Maris is so powerful, how he knows about what happened millions of years ago with the Grand Supreme Kai, and why he also knows how to bring out Ultra Instinct in Goku. But it also raises a number of new questions. For example, why isn't Maris assigned to a God of Destruction? Why is he allowed to intermingle with mortals and be a part of a Galactic Patrol police force in Universe 7? Was he perhaps an angel from one of the six universes that was erased by Zeno? And if so, does that mean that there are other angels out there doing their own thing? Maybe with some of them up to no good? And what exactly are the rules and limits that are applied on angels that's allowing this to transpire in the first place? All of these are very interesting questions which I assume that Toyotaro is going to explain very soon. And I look forward to seeing where this story leads and what other kinds of twists and turns there may be along the way. I just hope that it ends in a resolution that all of us will enjoy. We don't exactly need another repeat of what happened with the future Trunks arc. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you can see all of my content right away when it comes out. Yeah, and you better subscribe.